What's going on everyone? Liz here from Learn Robotics and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to create a 3D robot arm using Fusion 360. We're going to start with the first component which is the robot base. This is what all the links will be connected to. You can see an example of what the finished component looks like on the screen. Now let's jump right into it and create our first part. So what you're going to need to do is create yourself a new file. So go to file new design and I've named mine base and the units are going to be set to millimeters so if you open up the browser on the left side you go down to document settings and make sure your units are in millimeter all right now let's go ahead and create ourselves a sketch I'm going to turn on the origin to make this a little bit easier I'm going to click the create sketch button and I'm going to draw this on the top plane Short codes make everything a lot faster, so go ahead and type the letter S, and what you're looking for is the center rectangle. I'm going to go ahead and draw ourselves a square 140 millimeters by 140 millimeters. Use the tab key to get your dimensions, then click enter. All right, to zoom out a little bit, we're going to go ahead and extrude this up 10 millimeters. Click the E key, type in 10, hit enter. All right, there's our base. It's starting to come together already. Now we need to create another sketch on the top of the base. So let's go ahead and start sketch. Click the S key. We're looking for a center diameter circle. You can type that in. We're going to use the origin as our center. We're going to draw this out 100 millimeters. Extrude it up 100 millimeters. Hit enter. There we go. Now let's move to the front plane and we're going to start another sketch and this is going to be for where we store our electrical components on the inside of the base so we're going to go ahead and we're going to create ourselves a two-point rectangle we'll just draw it on this face it's going to be 40 by 80 and then tab over to get your dimensions and now we need to align this guy up so what we'll do is we'll hit the D key choose ourselves a point and I want this to go over 40 millimeters so that it's centered and I want this to be up let's make that 40 millimeters as well now we can hit escape and click on our sketch hit the E key we're going to choose that rectangle that we just drew and we want to extrude it out and instead of cutting it out, we actually want to join this so that we create ourselves a new piece of this component and then hit OK. Now what we're going to do is go to the top part of the cylinder. We're going to create ourselves another sketch. We want to create ourselves an attachment point for the first joint. So let's go ahead, type in S, find that center diameter circle, and let's go ahead and make this 95 millimeters hit the E key, we're going to go negative 3 millimeters and hit enter. So now you should have this nice little ledge on the inside. Looks pretty good. And lastly, to finish this off, we need to give ourselves some mounting holes. So let's go ahead and create another sketch on this base. And I'm going to look for point. So you can type an S and then search the word point. And I'm going to place around four points. And these are eventually going to become the holes for where we put our fasteners. Let's go ahead and dimension these off. Hit the D key and use the diagonal point as a reference. I want these over 20 and up 20. Do that for all of the points. And that looks pretty good. Go ahead and stop that sketch. Return to the home position, take a look at that, then type in the letter H. We're going to make ourselves some holes. We want the placement from the sketch. Go back to that top plane. So we'll go ahead and we'll use a counterbore screw. We'll do a simple hole tap type. That looks good. Hit OK. And there we go. That looks pretty awesome. Finally, just to finish this off and make it look more realistic, let's add some fillets, type the F key, and let's go ahead and click on some edges. I want to do these vertical ones on the base to rotate this guy around. 
click all of them. And let's go ahead and do, let's try three millimeters on the base. That looks pretty nice. We can go ahead and do the same for these vertical ones. Hit that F key, hit all these vertical ones. Rotate around, make sure you can get all of them. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Make that five. That looks pretty good. We can go back to our original model and take a look at that. We can also do some fillets around this top. So hit that F key again. All right, we'll do this one. All right, cool, that looks a lot better. And I'm gonna also do this base as a fillet. Make that five. And that looks pretty good. Take a look at that. When you're happy with it, make sure you hit Command S, save that up, and add that to your folder. We're gonna be coming back to this a little bit later once we have all of the components. Be sure to check out the next video on how to create link one. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, share it with a friend, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.